Hey Cancer, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Cancer, Saturday, Rosie, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you're going to be able to King of Wands, they're looking you. They're looking at you. They're watching you. This person wants to take action towards you, okay? This person is very, very focused on you, zoned in on you. So I'm getting here that there could have been um, cheating, lying, or someone was just not fair, okay? Someone just didn't do something right. And uh, all you want is justice. You just want things to be fair. All you want is a balanced relationship, okay? And probably something even very committed or something more fair, something more legal. This person or you were dealing with could be someone who was non committal all this while, someone who was just, you know, running away from commitment or someone who was just very focused on um, their career or uh, probably their hobby or probably just their friends and family. But you, the passion was there between you guys, but that's about it, okay? And you wanted more. Now you have a wish coming true. Okay, so this person's coming back. Could be a new person, could be an ex here. But I'm getting an ex here or someone who you've already dealt with. What do you feel for this person? What do you feel for this person, Cancer? Mm. Okay, you want growth, expansion. I feel right now you're doing you. You're taking care of yourself. Things are very, very abundant. And um, you're in your power here right now. Um, I'm, I'm getting a lot of, I'm looking for, um, you know, it's like you want a very slow moving, very nurturing connection out here. You definitely want to take things to the next level with this person here, okay? But I feel that you've somewhere, somehow just lost all hope and faith in this person here. And it's like, you know what, this person gets their karma, they'll get what they deserve, okay? But here, with the Empress here, I feel uh, you're in that energy of where you don't want to stress. You're not worrying. You're just taking it, you know, leaving it where it is. No more trying to control the outcome. No long, you know, you're embracing your feminine energy out here and being very laid back here. doesn't have to be a female. You could be a, a man or a woman. It's the energy out here. What does this person feel? What does this person feel for you, Cancer? Hmm. This person um, feels like you're not communicating, okay? So you could probably not be communicating with this person or this person is just wanting to communicate with you because they want to take action towards you but they're not communicating with you. This person's procrastinating because there could have been something that ended very badly between you guys, okay? I'm getting a lot of backstabbing betrayal. Maybe this person feels like a victim out here and I think that overthinking, overanalyzing is what's getting to them, okay? But they're, they'll, they'll get through it soon, okay? I think they're at the end of the cycle here because they're already wanting to take action towards you. It's just their procrastination which is stopping them from coming towards you. I think you're dealing with someone who's all about fashion, all about, you know, adventure, etc. They want to travel with you. They want to have fun, etc. You on the other hand here are like, you know, like, grow the fuck up, okay? Like, we've had enough fun. No time for fun and games anymore. I mean, you probably played along with this person for a very long time here. And then you just gave up because you felt like this was a situation that was going nowhere. Give me the mutual energy. Give me the mutual energy. Give me the mutual energy between cancer and the person they're dealing with. Wow. They're both, uh, you both still have a lot of love for each other, but you're not seeing eye to eye. I'm getting a message here that one person here always gave more than the other person did, okay? So yeah, clearly cancer, I'm looking at you as you were the one who was always investing more in this relationship. And you did expect a little something from this person, but this person never gave that to you, okay? So yeah, there's been an imbalance here, okay? That's why you want the justice here. You just want something fair, something balanced. Yet if it's not happening, you're like, you know what, goodbye. I'm okay on my own. But yeah, both of you all right now feel that disconnect, okay? You both feel that imbalance out here. And this person knows that they didn't give you enough or they didn't give this relationship the attention and love that it deserved. Okay. What action will you take towards this person? Cancer. What action will you take towards this person? Yeah, cutting them off. You're probably cutting them off, cutting communication. I feel you're very, very determined out here, okay, to get answers. If this person even comes towards you, you're not going to just let it go by like, oh, yeah, you're welcome back in my life. You can't just waltz back into my life whenever you want. I feel you're very, very clear, thinking very practically, being very, very cold and very detached from this person. Again, you have a lot of love for them, but you're forced to wear a false mask right now, okay? What action will this person take towards cancer? I think this person is releasing themselves, okay, from a stuck situation here. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to have to confirm one more time. Give me the likely outcome. What's the best possible outcome for cancer? What's the best possible outcome for cancer? This is usually releasing themselves from a situation, you know, where, I mean, they 
been on hold for a very long time i do like this in the reverse why because this is someone here who's finally ready to take action towards you or finally ready to come out of that stagnation you know it's like okay enough time wasting and now it's time to move forward and take action okay what's the most likely outcome <laughs> seven of swords i feel that um this is a lot of sneaky, very deceptive energy out here, right? I feel, you know what, um, you have a lot of love for them. I feel this is you. This person is ready to place themselves and come towards you, okay? But I feel you're trying to get away with something. I feel you have the emotions, you have everything for this person, but you're trying to think very, very logically this time, okay? Because you were thinking emotionally all this while, while this person took advantage of you or didn't just give you that, you know, there was no reciprocity here. Now, see, I see so much logic from your side here, the Empress, the um, the Tower, um, why did I say the tower? Sorry. Uh, the justice, the queen of swords, now the seven of swords. I feel there's too much logic coming from your side here. Whereas this person out here has taken their own time and I think they took quite a long time to come towards you, okay? Which is why now you're like, you know what? I know I have the feelings for you. I love you. I want you. But you know what? I'm just going to keep moving on, okay? Because, see, you see this connection as something where, you know what? It's pretty done and dusted. You're pretty fed up of this person here, okay? So, yeah, let's see. Um... What's the hangman in reverse? What's the hangman in reverse? Yeah, they're coming back. They're coming back. They miss you. They miss you. What's the seven of swords? <laughs> yeah, there's lack of commitment here, right? There's a lack of stability here. There's a situation here which is just not reaching that point of commitment here, okay? Either you're dealing with someone here who wasn't ready for commitment all this while here or someone here, you know, who's... Um, just not ready for it okay they don't feel prepared right now what's the queen of swords what's the queen of swords hmm. see you're ready to cut this person off okay whilst this person is wanting to come towards you with a leap of faith that's what i'm getting here this person is coming towards you but i think you're just gonna like like it's like literally like i'm gonna pass this all because there is still that lack of structure here you want something very stable something committed out there with this person here but you're just like, you know what, I'm not having it anymore. Because I feel somewhere, somehow, when the justice is on your mind, I feel you really, really want this person to pay for what they did to you. You want karma to bite them, you know. But you are going to get karma. I mean, this person will get the karma, okay. But they're coming towards you, regardless. They may procrastinate a little bit, but ultimately, in their actions, they will, okay. So now the hangman and reverse is not really an action-action card. It's more of a card where, you know, they, they realize that they need to come towards you. And eventually, they will. But I just feel that whilst they come towards you with that, taking that leap of faith here, right? You're like, you know what? I don't want no casual energy anymore, okay? I thought you come towards me with something committed. There is no let's go with the flow anymore is what I'm hearing from your side, okay? It's like either we do this or we don't do this because there's a lot of serious, logical, practical energy from your side. Whilst on this person's side, it's like, yeah, now I'm ready, but I'm not really ready, ready to give you what you want. But yeah, I realize I should have seen things from your point of view, okay? And now... I want to see this from your point of view and I want, I feel the connection and I want this. But you're like, no, there is no, um, can we try this again? It's more like, are we doing this or not? That's what I'm getting from you. So, yeah. so that's your reading. I hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.